Okay, I can't figure out how objectivism is not properly considered hedonistic when happiness is just a state of emotional pleasure. Happiness is not just a state of emotional pleasure. If somebody pats you on the back and says well, how attractive you are, you might feel pleasure, but that is not happiness. Happiness is a long-term proposition, an enduring fundamental pleasure based on your correspondence to reality, uh, based on you having control of your, no of your knowledge and your action by reason, uh, having a purpose which drives you in life, and having self-esteem as a result. You read my book, Opar, and you'll hear that elaborated. Hedonism simply said, add up all the pleasures you've got from whatever source and however superficial. And if they all add up uh, to make you feel good at a given moment, you're happy. So uh, uh, <clears throat> that is absolutely not uh, what objectivism is. It doesn't say have a whim and then because you get a kick out of satisfying it, regardless of the fact that you're going to have a hangover tomorrow, that's happiness. Further, happiness according to objectivism is not the standard of ethics. We don't say measure your actions by whether they make you happy, whereas hedonists do say measure your actions by whether they make you feel pleasure. Life is the standard of uh, objectivist ethics, not pleasure, and we say happiness is the result of following the objective values required by life. Uh, not taking an emotion out of context and saying whatever maximizes it, I don't know, but whatever it is, uh, is moral. So there's a big difference between standard and purpose. I think I covered that in OPAR, too, the difference, but probably pretty brief.